Expecting we kill the lines the most, the entrancing star I perceive is the star that could be surprising in our sky. It is this one, Bug Juice or Scarapress. It's a red monster star, and on the far-off probability that you put it where the sun is, it would interface with the circle of Jupiter. It's huge, particularly unusual, and going to detonate. It's not quite so clear as it shows up in the universe. These dazzling occasions, like the most extraordinarily enormous starbursts, could shake all that we see and don't have the foggiest idea. Essentially, in any case, creepy crawly Jews has been viewed as a sign. A red super monster star that is boundlessly more colossal than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists figure it could go supernova at any second. People are for the most part scared of what will occur since the James Webb Space Telescope is taking extraordinary photos of the star. When exactly will creepy crawly Jews become a supernova, and how monstrous of an impact will it have on Earth? How about we figure it out? The star in the heavenly body Orion, which shines so brilliantly that even individuals from ancient times saw it, is Bug Juice, or Scarab Jew. Situated on the eastern shoulder of the group of stars, Scarab Jew is the second biggest star in Orion. Its name comes from this component, the monster's shoulder. It is perhaps one of the most wonderful stars in the night sky. On top of being particularly brilliant, the star is also an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, suggests inconvenience. We've had some significant awareness of bug juice for quite a while. A Greek cosmologist named TMY also studied it. Around that time, the first thing people perceived about stars was their variety. TMY said it was an orange shade, an admonition. Researchers have been focusing on the star significantly more closely lately and now have a strong understanding of what makes it so unusually brilliant. One of these properties is that the star's brilliance changes fundamentally with a magnitude of 0.6. Bug juice is a variable star, meaning its brilliance fluctuates over time. However, in 2019, researchers saw something strange. Bug juice was acting strangely. While it didn't quit sparkling, it became fundamentally less brilliant, with its brilliance dropping to an extent of 1.6. Researchers immediately began exploring why the tenth most brilliant star overhead was darkening so radically. Their examination led to a surprising conclusion. Based on later signs, Researchers say that bug juice could go supernova at any second. Brian Cox, a notable physicist and professor at the University of Manchester, emphasized this possibility. He stated that Scarab Jew seems to be a ticking delayed bomb, ready to go off without advance notice. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided significant evidence to support this claim. The inquisitive signs of beetle juice have shown a few strange behaviors recently, raising alarm among scientists. For example, one diminishing in February 2021, bug juice reached a very low brightness of 1.61. This was soon after the incredible darkening event of 2019 when it lost an extraordinary amount of brilliance, dropping by 1.2 sizes. Two changes in brightness cycles, the star's patterns of lighting up and darkening, now happen twice as quickly as they used to. Three surface mass launches, the James Webb Telescope has observed that Scarab Jew expelled a surface mass equivalent to 400 billion times that of an ordinary coronal mass ejection from our sun. These discoveries suggest something unprecedented is happening. Betelgeuse is currently 150% more brilliant than normal, making it the seventh most brilliant star visible in the sky. This abrupt increase in brilliance has ignited additional inquiries about its future. Red Supergiant Star the red tone of Betelgeuse shows that it is a red supergiant star, a late stage in a star's life cycle. The star's surface temperature is around 3,500 Kelvin, much cooler than the sun's 5,500 Kelvin. In spite of being cooler, bug juice is essentially bigger and ready to detonate. A dying star like insect Jew will naturally fade over time. However, its inconsistent behavior, like the incredible darkening, has made researchers increasingly concerned. Many telescopes are now focused on the star to monitor these peculiarities. Utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope has been instrumental in uncovering critical information about Insect Jew. Its pictures of the incredible darkening event showed that the star went through a surface mass discharge unlike anything seen before. Using its advanced capabilities, 
the telescope can notice light waves and frequencies imperceptible to the human eye. Scientists are now analyzing the dust clouds forming on insect juice surface. This discovery, combined with the star's extraordinary brilliance fluctuations, suggests it could be approaching the end of its life as a star. The chance of Scarab Jew detonating as a supernova has intrigued and frightened researchers. A star should ordinarily have a mass of at least 8 to 10 times that of the Sun to end its life as a supernova. Insect Jew, being about 10 to 15 times the Sun's mass, fits this measure. When it detonates, the event will be completely fantastic. A supernova discharge is powerful to the point that Scarab Jew will probably dominate the moon in the night sky for a long time or even months. Regardless of its proximity in cosmic terms, about 640 light years from Earth, the blast will pose no immediate danger to us due to the vast distance. However, it will provide a rare opportunity for astronomers to study the life cycle of massive stars. Evidence of a looming supernova The extraordinary dimming of 2019 to 2020 attracted worldwide attention. Researchers initially speculated that the darkening was caused by a dust cloud or a massive convective cell on the star's surface. However, new information suggests that Betelgeuse may be in the final stages of its evolution. One piece of evidence lies in its mass loss events. Bug Jew has been observed launching material into space, creating a dense dust storm around it. This mass ejection is thought to be linked to the eventual collapse of the star's core, a critical stage before a supernova. What happens when Scarab Jew detonates? When Scarab Juice reaches the end of its life, it will undergo core collapse. The breakdown of the cycle starts when the star runs out of atomic fuel, causing the outward strain from combination to stop. Gravity will then dominate, compacting the center to where it can never again uphold itself. This brings about a gigantic blast, a cosmic explosion. The blast will deliver a gigantic measure of energy, transmitting light, intensity, and particles across the system. Betelgeuse will change into either a red giant or a black hole, depending upon the excess mass after the blast. While the cosmic explosion won't hurt Earth, it will be an awe-inspiring divine event, apparent even during the daytime. The light discharge will take around 640 years to contact us, meaning the blast might have already occurred, and we are just waiting for the light to show up. Observing Betelgeuse, astrophysicists continue to monitor the star with advanced devices like the James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, and ground-based observatories. These instruments allow researchers to track its brilliance, temperature, and mass loss events in real time. One of the critical objectives is to determine the specific timeline for Betelgeuse's cosmic explosion. While researchers believe it could happen anytime within the next 100,000 years, they remain cautious about making precise predictions. Betelgeuse's behavior is both eccentric and fascinating, offering an intriguing look into the life of a dying star from an astronomical perspective. The study of Betelgeuse reminds us of the infinity and dynamism of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse are vital to the cosmic environment, as their explosions release heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, fundamental building blocks of planets and life. When Betelgeuse finally detonates, it will mark the end of one star's life and the beginning of countless new possibilities in the universe. For now, humanity observes and waits, marveling at the wonders of the universe, not yet knowing when Betelgeuse will die. Experts are still studying it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Researchers acknowledge that Betelgeuse is substantially more massive than the Sun and that the bright red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, Considering the various extraordinary things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this statement will still hold after the extreme dimming. Scientists don't think Betelgeuse will explode anytime soon. If it does explode, it will be the first cosmic explosion we observe for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Experts also don't want this to happen soon, as they are still focusing on the star's unusual behavior. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse will eventually detonate, Scientists are uncertain about when exactly it will occur. If we look at the universe without the constraints of human timescales, perhaps one of the most captivating and, perhaps, most amazing stars in our sky is Betelgeuse, often referred to as Bug Juice. This red giant star, if placed where the sun is, would stretch out to Jupiter's orbit. This marvelously epic and unstable star is on the verge of a blast. The universe, 
however, doesn't work in such clear terms. Dazzling events like the feared starburst could completely alter everything we know. Recent discoveries about Betelgeuse have provided intriguing clues. As a red giant star several times the size of our sun, astronomers, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The concern lies in the consequences of such an event, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope has captured disturbing images of the star. So, when exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what impact will it have on Earth? Recently, the star has become significantly dimmer, shining at only 1.6% of its previous brightness. Scientists immediately began investigating why the tenth brightest star in our sky was showing such unusual behavior. They issued a frightening statement based on their research, which uncovered odd signs from the star. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a famous physicist and professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester, shared this disturbing data. The academic community is concerned as Betelgeuse is considered a ticking time bomb, capable of detonating at any moment. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided substantial evidence to support this case, capturing rare images highlighting the star's instability, the dramatic dimming, and its implications. Scientists have been particularly intrigued by Betelgeuse's unique light patterns for some time. Space researchers have noticed its fluctuations, but recent studies suggest these changes are becoming more pronounced. The star's brilliance has shown rapid variations, suggesting it could be entering a critical period of its life cycle. This change raises questions about the processes occurring inside the star and their implications for its future. In 2019, after a significant dimming event, Betelgeuse's brilliance dropped to an all-time low, causing concern among astronomers. This phenomenon, referred to as the Great Dimming, led many to speculate that the star was nearing the end of its life. Researchers noted that Betelgeuse is several times the mass of our sun, a critical factor in determining its fate. A star of this size typically undergoes dramatic changes before going supernova. Subsequent observations revealed that Betelgeuse is now 150% more luminous than expected, making it the seventh brightest star in our sky. This sudden increase in brightness has sparked various theories about its behavior. Some scientists believe this could be a precursor to the star's eventual explosion, while others suggest that environmental factors, such as dust clouds or changes in surface temperature, may be influencing its glow. Insights from the James Webb Space Telescope have become a crucial tool in this research. With its advanced capabilities, it can detect light frequencies invisible to the naked eye, providing further insights into the star's behavior. For instance, the telescope has observed dust clouds forming on Betelgeuse's surface, resembling leaves in space. Despite the star's looming demise, scientists remain fascinated by these discoveries and eager to learn more. The Future of Betelgeuse As Betelgeuse continues to display surprising behavior, researchers remain vigilant. Although they believe the star will likely stay bright for the next few years, predicting its ultimate fate is complex. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, it would be the first such event observable to the naked eye since Johannes Kepler witnessed a supernova in 1604. The consequences of a nearby supernova are enormous. Depending on its distance and the energy released, it could potentially affect Earth's environment and life. 